In this video, I will show you how to automatically generate wind loads with advanced design. The first step is to create a structure. In this case, I will be working with the timber framework. I have selected C24 as the timber grade, as well as a grid laminated cross section. So I will start by creating my column, my rafter, and my intermediate column. Then I will add some supports, pin supports in this case, and I will mirror this part of my portal frame. Okay. Now I will copy this portal frame twice in order to have a two bay framework like this. And I will create some beams. Now, the next step is to create the load areas which work as panels. They are needed for the distribution of the wind loads. So I will start by creating my first load area. I will select the span direction of my load area. I will now create my second load area. Again, I will select the span direction. And now I will copy this load area to the back and this one to the other side of the building. I need to create four more load areas here. The building needs to be completely closed. So these two load areas will be spanning towards the X local axis. I will mirror this to load areas. Now I am ready to create my wind loads. So I will go to the loading sub-branch in the pilot. I click create a case family and I will create that load case family plus wind case family. So that load case actually contains the self-weight of the structure. And for the wind, I have many parameters that I can change. For example, I can choose another speed region. If I choose, for example, Edinburgh, I can see if the wind speed changes. I can also select my direction coefficient if I set this to 210 degrees. Building height will be automatically calculated by the software. I can change, for example, my altitude. You have many other parameters in this properties table that you can change. And now to generate the loads, I just have to right click on the wind load case, automatic generation. And if I display my loads, I can see all of these appear in purple color. So each zone is taken into account in one of these load cases. Now I will perform the finite element analysis only for these two simple cases. My calculation is finished. I can now post process the results. For example, for this load case, I can display the displacements as well as all the other load cases that I have previously created. So that's the way you create wind loads with the generator of advanced design, which is based in the Eurocode 1.